Hello, Madison Square Garden! Are you guys ready to take your country back? Are you sick of the insanity? Guys, this is not my first rodeo. It's the third go-around, but you think this could have ever happened four or eight years ago in the heart of New York City? The King of New York is back to reclaim the city that he built! My father changed the skyline of this city. He fixed the things that incompetent bureaucrats couldn't handle. He did that against all odds. He did it for our country, too, and now everyone recognizes it. What's unique about this election, folks, you've had four years under both leaders. The media would like to pretend that Kamala Harris started her political career about a month ago in a coup. The most democratic process to ever not have a single vote. She's going to be a moderate, folks. She's going to be a moderate. A radical San Francisco liberal. The daughter of a Marxist professor is now magically going to be a moderate. No one's buying it anymore. You know why? Because they've been lying to you for the last nine years, and you're not buying their crap anymore. You've had enough. The fact that I could drive here today with my father for like 25 blocks and watch the streets of New York lined up with red MAGA hats tells us everything you need to know. You had four years under Donald Trump, and despite the most vicious opposition from the media, from big tech, from the Democrats, and even from the weakling Republicans, you got results. We got peace deals done. Our enemies weren't invading their neighbors. The economy grew. Inflation was next to nothing. And then Kamala Harris and Joe Biden took over, and everything went to hell like that. I keep watching it in the news. It's amazing. Kamala Harris is going to fix all these things. I say, you know what? Why hasn't she started fixing them? You know, you've had four years. Why didn't you maybe get going? You're going to wait till January 20th? Americans are suffering. People can't make rent. Businesses are going under. Grocery prices are too expensive. I tell a story. Last summer, last summer, I was coming back from a fishing trip with two of my boys. And we went to McDonald's. And it was $48 for a 10-year-old, a 14-year-old, and me. And guys, let me tell you, if Donald Trump Jr. has sticker shock at McDonald's, we have a serious problem. It does not have to be this way, guys. We can change it, but it's going to take all of you. You know, these days, you know, everyone's a tough guy. Everyone's a tough guy on the keyboard, on the internet. You know, everyone's a badass. But when you get shot in the face and you come back defiant, ready to fight, that's a badass. That's the guy. That's the guy that can fix the problems that we have. That's the guy that's going to keep our enemies in check. That's a guy that's going to fight for each and every one of you. He's done it once. Let's send him back to Washington, D.C. with an overwhelming mandate to fix the nonsense once and for all. 
Guys, look at the people who have spoken here tonight. And look at some of the people who are still coming. When did you think you'd be able to get RFK Jr., Tulsi Gabbard, Elon Musk? People from all different walks of life, incredible skill sets, whether it be health, whether it be technology, everything. You have them on one unified ticket. Think about that. Compare that to Kamala Harris and Tampon Tim. It ain't the same, folks. Timmy ain't fixing anything, and neither is Kamala. We have a once in a lifetime opportunity to change, to change Washington, to put in common sense practices, to put Americans first, because they're not first right now. The Democrat Party has forgotten about Americans. Rather than cater to Americans, they decided, you know what? It would just be easier to replace them with people who will be reliable voters. The insanity has to stop, and the fact that we can pack Madison Square Garden, in the heart of New York City, shows me that the spirit of the American people is there. That same spirit my father showed on J July 13th, that's the spirit of America, that's the spirit we need going into Election Day. So for the next nine days, each and every one of you, you line up like you're the third monkey on line for the ark and it's starting to rain. You vote, you vote early and then you bring your friends so that we can take back our country once and for all. And when we do that, guys, we're not just going to make America great again. We're going to make the world great. We're going to make the world safe. We're going to fix it all. Get out there, guys, and just like you're going to fight, get out there and vote, vote, vote! Thank you, New York City!